Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I have yet another fall video for you. I love fall and I hope you do too. I just love pumpkins and fall leaves. I love the colors. I love everything about fall, except for the cold. But you know what? It's bound to come anyway. So <laughs> anyways, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sweet, sweet Oliver. And if you're returning, well, you guys are amazing. So with all of that, let's get to crafting. Okay, DIY number one. So I'm going to take this Hello Fall sign. I got it for $3.49, 40% off of that from Hobby Lobby. I removed the hanger. I'm going to fill up those holes with some spackling. And then I'm going to, I didn't paint it at all. I just took my Mod Podge and I'm going to go over the whole front of the sign, just brushing it all along the front of the letters there. And believe it or not, this was a little harder than it looked, uh, trying to not get it all over on the sides because I didn't want my napkin to be uh, stuck to the sides. So yeah, I probably could have used a smaller brush. But anyways, I let it dry. Once it was dry, I took this napkin. I believe I might have got this. I got this last year. So I don't know if I got it from Hub, uh, sorry, sorry, Dollar Tree or Dollar General, but I got it from one of those places. Um, I'm laying it on my word. I'm covering it with the parchment paper to protect the napkin. And then I'm just using my heat press to go over that napkin so that it reactivates the Mod Podge and the napkin sticks. If you don't have one of these little heat presses, they're really not very expensive, but you can use an iron as long as there's no steam on. And I'm just going to go over making sure that each part of my words um, is covered and that I'm going over each part of it. It wasn't wide enough, so I took a little strip from the top and I cut it to kind of match uh, that one little area and then I'm just going to go over that too and after that I trimmed it all down and then I'm just going to brush on some more Mod Podge just staying on the front part of my letters and the reason being is because I'm going to use the burn method so once it was all dry I am taking my scissors and just kind of poking holes through <clears throat> the areas that are open and then I'm going to use my lighter from the back side to burn off all that excess paper. And um, the reason why I made sure not to put Mod Podge on the open areas was because the fire will burn up to where the Mod Podge is. So if you put it all over and those open areas won't burn like this. So I just went ahead and burned off all of that. And then I took my little finger or my little finger file here. Um, this is just a regular nail file and I am using that plus my finger sander to get all the excess uh, paper, napkin off. Then I took, what is that, six of those um, wood strips from Dollar Tree. I think these are like 12 or 18 inches long. And no, there's seven, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I'm gluing them together using my wood glue and hot glue. And I'm just gluing them and then kind of pressing them together. And then after I had them all glued together, I took some five, two five gallon paint sticks and I cut them down to the size that I needed. And then again, I'm gonna use my wood glue and hot glue and I glued one to the bottom of my sign and this is gonna be on the front and then one on the top of my sign. So I did not use any craft sticks on the back like I would normally do, um, but instead I just put those on the front as added strength. But that's not the reason why I put them on is more decorative. But anyways, I went over the whole thing with my Waverly Antique Wax. I just brushed it on and wiped it off with a paper towel. And then again, I'm gonna use my wood glue and hot glue on the back of my word. And I'm just gonna glue this to the front of the sign. And you guys, I absolutely love the way this came out. Oh, sometimes I wish I didn't love the stuff I make because I don't have room in my house for it. <laughs> then I took these little skewers with the leaves that I got from Hobby Lobby. These, I just love these. These are so pretty. And I'm using my needle nose pliers and I'm just kind of pulling the stick out and twisting the um, leaf as I pull. Sometimes it breaks, the skewers break like that one did. And you can see a little bit. I just try to pick it off so that you don't see very much of that stick that's there. But then I just used my tight bond, quick and thick multi-purpose glue, and I glued on these leaves just all around the word hello. 
or hello fall and then I'm just gonna add a hanger this wood is thick enough I went ahead and used my stapler and that's all there was for this one I can't wait for you to see it um, I love how this came out and <clears throat> I showed my husband and he just thought it was beautiful which always makes me happy when he says things like that <laughs> anyways you have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below Okay, welcome back guys. I always like to take this moment to thank all my subscribers. Without you guys, there would be no me. And I appreciate each one of you that come back every single video and watch and comment and give me that thumbs up. It means the world to me. And for those of you who are new, I would love to have you become part of our YouTube family as well. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button before you go. Become part of our YouTube family. Let me know in the comment box that you're new here. I'd love to get to know you. And so with all of that, let's continue on with the video. Okay, DIY number two. So I'm going to take one of these pumpkins. I got this last year from Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree Plus section. I don't I must have used the stem for something last year. Um, and then I took one of these carvable pumpkins. I'm going to cut out the stem on this with my knife. Now, if you want to recreate this, I would suggest using a different pumpkin. If you can, if you have a smaller one, not the carvable ones, because you can tell that they're styrofoam. Once you paint it, you can see the little bumps. But I painted one with my ivory and one with my worn penny. I'm going to glue the smaller one on top of the larger one. I took one of these candlesticks from Dollar Tree and I'm using my fix-all glue and hot glue and I'm going to glue them onto, no, a styrofoam round. Styrofoam round. <laughs> uh, this is from Hobby, oh my goodness, Dollar Tree. Oh my word. Okay. And I just glued that in place. And then I'm using my little pokey tool to kind of, because it, it's really hard to poke these things through. So I'm just making a little hole and I'm going to add some glue to the bottom of these leaves. These all come from picks from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to stick those in going all around. I just want to fill this up. So I'm just kind of using those for fillers. You could use moss if you wanted to recreate this and add moss, you know, glue moss around and then start adding plants. Um, but I just kind of wanted to fill it up with some leaves. And then I just taken whatever I had in my stash. This was like, it's called wheat, but it had little sunflowers on it. This came from Dollar Tree. I'm going to add some chrysanthem chrysanthemums, I think is what those were called. Um, and what else did I add? I added all some hops, bushes. I added all kinds of things all the way around. And then I took some moss here and I'm just going to go in between, glue it around in between those two pumpkins because um, I felt like that needed to be dressed up some too. So I'm going to do that. And then I took... Once I had all of that moss all the way around, I'm going to take some sunflowers. Now, the orange sunflowers came from Hobby Lobby, and the yellow and the white ones, I believe, uh, came from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm just going to kind of go around and just place some here and there. And then I took these candles. I got these from Amazon last year at Christmas time. And they have timers on it, which I love. So once you turn them on, they'll stay on, I think, for six hours and then turn off and come back on after 18 hours. But anyways, I just did on the top, I added some more of the moss and some sunflowers. I'm using my fix-all glue here and a little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to add my pumpkins right on top of this. I'm going to make this beautiful topiary with a candle on the top. I just love this. And I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put it in my house because I love it so much. Oh, I guess this is where I finished it off. That's right. I wanted to add the candle first before I added the the sunflowers. But there it is. I love it. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well in the comment box below. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreations. And we have all these sweet pieces from Terry. I love them. They're all so cute. You did an amazing job, Terry. And then we have these beautiful signs from Tammy. She made these for her family. Thank you, Tammy. They're pr very pretty. And then this adorable little gingerbread house that Kathy made. She has been a busy bee. And then we have Valerie. Look at sh all her busted canvases. I love them. Uh, Valerie they're wonderful thank you ladies and if you have a 
creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, send pictures to my email address listed there, or you can send them to Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Okay, DIY number three. So I'm gonna take one of these 14 inch wood rounds from Do uh, Hobby Lobby, sorry. I'm measuring the center spot and then I'm gonna use my square ruler to just kind of lay it over that line. Um, and then I'm gonna tape it off with my painter's tape. I'm then going to go over the top part with Waverly Antique Wax and the bottom part with my Deco Art Burnt orange my new favorite color but I had issues with my foam so I created a stencil I found this saying in Cricut Design Space created the stencil laid it on the top and the bottom here and I used my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory to go over the stencil and then um I was having so many issues, you guys. That I thought I was recording and it wasn't. When it, when it, oh, I can't talk. When I was done and when it was dry, I made some holes because these don't have holes in them. So I'm just making some hanger holes with my big mouth crocodile. I took some tape, put it on the ends of my twine and threaded it through the holes and made some knots on the back again I thought I was recording and my phone kept stopping on me I would only record for like six seconds and then it would stop so I ended up having to restart my phone and then it the problem went away so it was really weird so as you can see I'd already been filling out all my flowers because I thought you know it was recording <laughs> and it wasn't so I just took again a, just a pile of stuff some leaves those beautiful eucalyptus leaves I just got from Dollar Tree for like I'm not Dollar Tree Walmart for like 97 cents 98 cents they're really pretty and these flowers are like ball daisies um, that were beautiful too. So I added those some pumpkins. These have the clips on them. So I'm just clipping them on. I first I took the alligator clips off and I thought, wait, I could just clip these on. <laughs> they might work better than hot glue. Um, and then that bottom one I just glued on with hot glue, but I'm just kind of going in and filling it up as much as I want. And that's all there is for this. I think this is stunning. I think this is beautiful. I love those colors together. Just gorgeous. Ah. Oh, my be still my heart <laughs> anyways you have to let me know what you think about this one as well okay diy number four sorry if you hear that noise that's my chair my arms if you saw me when i got this chair i was saying how the arms kind of they move around a lot and kind of irritate me yeah <laughs> that's what happens anyways i removed that top part from that pumpkin from dollar tree and i'm using waverly chalk paints in the color moss ivory and then my deco art burnt orange uh for all of this now i wasn't quite sure how what i was going to do when i was showing that because i wasn't sure what i was going to paint what but i figured this out so i took that little piece that i took off the front of the pumpkin i took one of these rub-on transfers and i'm just going to rub this on now i really really love the way this pumpkin came out the rest of it mm, <laughs> it's not what i had imagined and uh yeah so but i'm showing it to you anyways it's still okay but it's just not what i had imagined anyways once i have this on there and of course you're just going to rub and rub and then i'm lifting that plastic piece if i see any of it coming off with the plastic then i just lay it down and rub again and then i'm just going to add some of the leaves all around there just on the bottom not on the top and um yeah just adding just filling it in just kind of adding it all around and then after that i'm going to use my wood glue and hot glue to glue that back in place in front of the pumpkin and i don't know if dollar tree still has these these have been in my stash um, but you could definitely, you know, use like a wood round or something like that if you want to recreate it on just any kind of pumpkin that you get. Um, I took some sweater. I have a sweater that I used last year. I cut it up and so I'm just cutting up some more of it. And this was just a sweater. I got it like Goodwill. And I'm just cutting a strip of it. And then I took some denim. I had some denim jeans from Goodwill that I cut up. And this is from that. And I'm just trimming this down and cutting it to fit along those blocks. I'm going to use some, uh, oh, what is that? Tacky glue. And I'm going to brush it on. And then I'm going to add my sweater material and my denim to the front of these blocks. Now, this might have been better if I would have just left, if I would have just painted those blocks, maybe that burnt orange. Um, and left 
not had too many colors because for me it just feels like it's too busy part of it too is here i took some of the faux leather ribbon from dollar tree i've had this in my stash forever i'm folding it in half and cutting down well it still wasn't very straight you guys oh my goodness anyways i had to trim it all up so that it was straight um here i'm adding my uh, sweater material to the front of this block and then i decided to use the strips of the faux leather ribbon and go glue around it and i end up taking this off because i end up just going i do not like this it just looks too busy too unmatched and i just didn't like it so you'll see me taking that off in a little bit but i took these letters now i just recently got a huge pack of wood one inch letters from amazon i'll try and link that in my amazon store um and it comes with a ton of letters and um i just Grab some tape, painter's tape, lay them on there, and I am just uh, painting them with my burnt orange color. Once they're dry, I took my tight bond, quick and thick multi-purpose glue. I love this stuff. I'm just going to glue that those sayings right on top of um, my pieces here. Then I'm going to use my wood glue and hot glue and glue those two blocks together. And then... Um, that's when I was like, I do not like the way this looks. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the wood glue and hot glue and glue that pumpkin on the very top. And yeah, I kind of wish I would have painted those blocks with that burnt orange and made it all one color. But it is what it is. So I took, because I could, didn't like how you could see the edge of the sweater. So I'm taking some of this braided jute rope and just putting it on the top. And I think this is when I was just like, okay, this is just too much. I don't like this. So I then you'll see me here on the next clip, I believe, pulling off this leather. I did have to uh, use my heat gun a little bit to loosen up some of that glue to get it all off because I'm just like, I just don't like the way this looks. It just, yeah. So instead, I went ahead and just covered the edges with some of that twine just so that it was a little more uniform a little more the same not so many different textures and stuff it was to me it was just looking too busy and then i went ahead and added some of these little wood leaves from hobby lobby and i got done my grandson comes in he's like what you doing i'm like oh i'm just finishing finishing a project what do you think and he's like uh <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel the same way. But anyways, I thought it was pretty cute, though. He's just like, huh? <laughs> anyways, I'm taking some of this pit berries, and I'm going to wrap it around the peduncle of my pumpkin there. Yes, that's the name of the stem of a pumpkin. Peduncle. Craziest name ever. Um, and I'm just going to... Um, tighten it in the back. I can't remember if I twisted it again. I don't think so. And I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm just going to wrap it around to coil it and then uh, take my paintbrush out and then look how cute that is. I love this technique. I love the top part of this thing. I love that color with the um, of the pumpkin with the rub on transfer the rest of it. Yeah, not so much. Anyways, I'm making a single loop finger bow. I just wrapped my fingers went around it with my twine I don't know you'll just have to watch it because I'm having a hard time explaining it this morning <laughs> then I'm just gonna glue it to the top and there it is okay uh, I don't know a uh, verdict is out for me on this one uh, you'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well and the final reveal is coming right up again you guys thank you so much for being here today and I hope you enjoyed the video I absolutely love three of those items, but <laughs> the other one is, uh, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will be back on Sunday for the Just Our Imagination playlist, which is always fun. So stay tuned for that. And with all that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.